All right, YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favorite YouTuber and vlogger. Right, what it is, this is going to be a relatively quick video. Um, it's basically a preliminary video. One of the first things that I've ever done with this Flip 5 here. And the very first time I've tested it with any external microphone. But in this instance, this is a wireless external microphone. So as rough and as ready as this video is going to be, and the fact that it is just a prelim for myself, you know there are a few people some of my youtube buddies out there who watch some of these videos that i do and hopefully you might find this one interesting uh, what it is this one is going to lead into a proper video i'm probably going to have to do that on the main channel because what it is you know obviously i don't get any money off this channel whatsoever as far as youtube are concerned even though they still insist on putting adverts at the beginning and in the middle of my videos um, so yeah what I'm doing here is just testing some stuff with this mic and then what I learn from this I'll kind of put that into a proper video should we say but I'll probably do it on my main channel only because I do stand more chance of getting more views there as well and uh, yeah I can make some money off the video anyway so what I've got here is the Lark C1 or is it the C1 Lark Lark C1 I think it is so this is by Hollyland um, now what it is this is actually a dual set in fact I'll do a little cutaway here it's like a little two set microphone thing so you've got like your two typical you know like transmitter you know microphone setups and stuff and then you've also got a single receiver and it's all on USB-C and stuff so basically I've just like I'm only using one of the mics here actually and um, so I've got the receiver just jacked into the phone there and then obviously hopefully we can see there's the mic there so that's the microphone hopefully we've just seen that now what it is um, as standard, these microphones are really loud on the outputs. So hopefully this is all okay. What I've had to do here is go into the pro mode on the phone, on the settings, and then dial down the level. Now, that dialing down of the level has gone to minus 12. So hopefully that's okay. Now, if it is okay, then that's going to suggest, well, it would suggest that it was actually controlling something digitally. And I don't think that that is the case. So what it must be, I must just always be on the cusp on the input maybe. And then basically using that minus 12 might just take a slight edge off it. Nonetheless, for someone like me who's got a loudish voice, we say loudish, I am just loud. Uh, someone with a loud voice can easily uh, like distort this microphone system depending upon what it's plugged into. Because if you plug it into other stuff over usb it's perfectly fine it would appear that certain phones regardless of like the microphone you know sending in a digital bit stream regardless of that it would appear that some of the phones just like to jack up the input even further and i think that's exactly what happens with most of these things with the phones anyways and nonetheless this is what's going on and this is what i'm testing blah 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 so what i'm going to do in a sec i'm just going to put the phone down and walk away and just walk around and see if it still picks me up okay okay so what it is i'm standing down directly next to the phone and I've got the phone like you know filming straight up this path so I'm going to start walking up the path here now I don't know how far this path is and stuff but you'll get a gauge here of like you know the kind of distances that I'm walking away from the phone and stuff um, and now what I'm going to do actually I'm going to keep me back to the camera here or me back to the phone and let's just see what goes on as far as like how far I can get away with uh, without being in line of sight and like my body blocking the signal very clearly um, I'd be very surprised if it's still picking me up here. It might actually be still picking me up only because there's a wall over this side here which might be reflecting the radio signals and stuff. Um, there's not much else that it'll reflect from that side because all those trees would probably absorb. Anyway, I'm getting close up to the end of this path. Let me just turn around. Um, I've got to be about, oof, I don't know, 70, 80 feet away there, something like that. Let me just walk right to the end here. Now, I don't know, I mean, you know, this could all have been cutting out dead fast down, or dead quick down there. In fact, I'm right up here now. Um, yeah, that's got to be close to 100, maybe more than 100 feet away now. Okay, right. So what I was saying, well, what I was about to say just then is um, this might have been all completely useless because it might have been cutting out really quickly as I was walking up, you know, with, me, with my body blocking the signal and stuff. And hopefully it's picking up okay as I'm walking back down here now. Um, now the thing is with something like this, I'm never gonna walk these distances, you know, from the phone doing a vlog and stuff. But, 
you know, if you can sit, or sorry, if you can have the phone placed somewhere and then maybe you can get within, say, I don't know, a, a 15 foot, you know, something like that, four meter radius, I think that's probably really adequate for a lot of stuff that you're likely to do, just shooting out on your own, you know, doing a bit of vlogging and stuff like that. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to carry on walking here. What it is, I know I'm just talking a load of nonsense right now, but it's just dialogue so I can get an idea myself of what's going on. So I'm just going to walk right down here. In fact, give me one second. OK, I'm going to be seriously shocked if it's picking me up here. What it is, I'm right round the corner behind all these trees that the phone is now pointing towards. So what I'm going to do start walking up this path at the side and then I should come into view in a second. But nonetheless, there's a ton of trees and stuff in the way there. You know, I'd be so surprised if anything was getting picked up there. Oh, well, it'll actually be picking me up now, definitely. But when I was right around that corner there, I don't know how far uh, or how far I could have been where the phone wouldn't have been picking me up. But this is going to be interesting for me nonetheless. So all of these little tests and all these things that I have to do in order to find out what these things will perform like when I do a proper video. OK, so that should do it for this test. And like I say, this is like one of these rough things that I have to do in order to work out certain things. So preliminary test. Now, one interesting thing here as well which might be worth noting is that if you want to use like this gain system for the audio you have to be in pro mode to do that and I think that will happen on any Samsung phone because it does the same with the S23 Ultra as well but the thing is is once you are in that mode you can't use the front facing camera so it has to be the rear cameras now that doesn't particularly bother me because obviously I'm the kind of person who will just film on anything whether there's a front facing screen or not but for a lot of people who need to use a screen dare I say sorry I just said something really insulting then <laughs> and I'm trying to keep this video clean <laughs> anyway yeah so i've cut that bit out so i can keep the video clean and i don't have to put a warning at the beginning yeah so anyway what i was saying is yeah if you're used to having to use a screen to frame yourself with then yeah you know this wouldn't be a good idea for you because you're going to have to use the real lenses because that's how you get to go to gain reduction in pro mode anyway yeah so hopefully this has all sounded okay and stuff and if so please do let me know in the comment section below what you've thought of this um now like i said before as well obviously i have have a bit of a dichotomy with uh, some of my videos because obviously I need to make money out of these videos because I do YouTube like you know professionally and by professionally I mean I do it to make money and um, the thing is it's a bit of a pain in the ass because the stuff on this channel I don't make money directly off YouTube even though they are now starting to put loads of adverts on my videos so I think it's really really unfair but that's a conversation for another video but uh, the point that I'm getting at here is unfortunately I have to split my videos across two channels here well at least these videos because i've got other channels that i put stuff on as well but these types of videos i can't be putting them all on this channel unfortunately which is really sad because i love doing content on this channel because it just feels like there's no pressure and everything's all good and cool and stuff like that but unfortunately yeah i will have to be putting a bunch of stuff on my other channel so the things that i test on this channel ultimately some of them are for another channel yeah how boring is that anyway shut up dave and get off because no no one cares. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.